Hello everyone, welcome to Usakura Educational uh, on taking care of your cat's needs with fleas, ticks, and sensitive skin. This is Scruffy. He's one of our feral cats who actually has been somewhat domesticated. And we're gonna show you how to apply this really nice product that has uh, Ugino oil and peppermint oil, which helps to protect the cats naturally from fleas, ticks, mosquitoes. And uh, we're gonna show you how we apply it to him and uh, hope you learned something because you can use it on your cats as well and even your dogs. So here we go. So I'm putting some in. I'm actually going to start at his neck. And, um, and the reason being is because sometimes fleas have a tendency when they know something's coming to run towards the head and the ear area. So I'm just taking pumps and starting to massage it in under the neck he's actually doing very good because at one point in time he wouldn't even let us touch him so this is actually really really good so i'm getting his legs and then i'll work backwards because this way the fleas that may could be on him or anything else won't be able to make it to his ears so this is a really nice way to kind of help now if you have a cat at home that's much easier and nicer well, he's nice but um not maybe as crazy not wanting to be touched you can do this on your own so now i'm working up underneath the belly area but these oils are really good for cats because one they're natural they have neurotoxins that will actually kind of stun the the fleas and what have you the reason we do this is because they do go out and we are in a warehouse so scruffy comes in and out as he pleases but they do stay in the warehouse overnight which is great so they kind of enjoy that as well then versus being out so we've got the feet you want to get make sure you get these legs nice and areas that they cannot lick or, or have easy access, especially the back. So we will go over that section again. But we found this product to be very nice, refreshing to their skin. It smells great. And uh, by Monday, he will actually look like he had a regular bath in a way. So it's really kind of cool to see that this product works really well for him. And so you want to make sure right in the crack of the tail area you get in good because sometimes they can't reach that area. And again now, working on the back in the shoulder blades where they can't reach, we're working that product in really nice. So what I happen to do is I have this little nice brush that I like. It's very soft. It's boar bristle but I like to kind of brush through to work it through this coat, get it in. It kind of stimulates the skin as well and not very heavy, but mostly just to disperse the product nicely. So we want to make sure we get the head area and a little under the belly just to move the product. And you'll notice your hands could feel a little tingly, but that's because of the peppermint. And uh, it's all good. And then these products such as this, again, you can find it in the Petco, any place where they have your animal products. So we've got him pretty good. Actually, what I'm going to do is kind of blot him to help keep that um, product from getting too moist on him. He's getting a little tired of being pampered, <laughs> but he'll thank me later. So there he is, a happy kitty. 
So great. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this, but this is a great product and he will feel so much better come the next day. Take care now. Talk to you soon.